Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, at what time between 3 and 4 will the hour hand and minute hand of a clock coincide? So what is a given question? So there is a clock and between 3 and 4, at what time the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock will coincide with each other? So at 3 and 4 means at 3 o'clock, what is the position of the hour hand and minute hand? The hour hand will be at 3 and minute hand will be at 12 okay so if minute hand has to coincide with the hour hand what should be the distance traveled so the minute hand should travel a distance of 90 degree okay we know that there is one here and there is two here and we know that between 12 and 1 how many degrees are there 30 degree then between 2 and 3 30 degree and between 12 and 1, 30 degree. So, total it is 90 degree. So, each section, so each section will be representing a 30 degree. Because the whole clock is 360 degree and it is divided into 12 hours. 12 hours is equal to 360 degree. Therefore, 1 hour is equal to 30 degree. So, between 12 and 3, the minute hand has to traverse a distance of 90 degree in order to coincide with the hour hand. So, that is the first thing you have to check. How much distance should be traveled by the minute hand in order to coincide with the hour hand? So, at what time between 3 and 4? That is the given question. So, at 3 o'clock, you are having your minute hand at 12 and your hour hand at 3. So, from 12 to 3, what is the distance or how many degrees the minute hand should travel so that it coincides with the hour hand? So, from 12 to 3, how many degrees are there? So, we know that 1 hour is equal to 30 degree. How did you get that? 360 degree by 12 is equal to 30 degree. So, you got 1 hour is equal to 30 degree. So, from that you will be getting 3 hours. Here, here you are having 12, from 12 to 3. That means 3 hours and it will be 90 degree. Okay. So, minute hand has to travel a distance of 90 degree. That is your first step. You have to find out how much distance the minute hand has to travel in order to coincide with the hour hand. Now, second thing is what is the relative speed? Okay, so when, when the minute hand is traveling, the hour hand is not remaining constant. The hour hand is also, the hour hand also will be traveling. Even though the speed traveled is different, both the hour hand and the minute hand are moving. So, you have to find out the relative speed and this will be same for every question. For every question, the relative speed between hour hand and minute hand will be constant. What is the relative speed? How to find that? In the previous video itself, we have talked about the relative speed between the minute hand and the hour hand. So, once more I will tell. So, minute hand means it is moving 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, it is traveling 360 degree. Okay. So, the whole 60 minutes is equal to 1 rotation or 360 degree will be traveled in 60 minutes. Therefore, in 1 minute, the minute hand will be traveling 6 degrees. And what about our hand? Our hand will be traveling 12 hours. It will be traveling 12 hours only, it will be traveling 360 degree. Or simply you can say in 1 hour, 1 hour or in 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, it is traveling 30 degree. Okay. So, in 1 hour between 12 and 1, there is 30 degree. So, 1 hour, in 1 hour or in 60 minutes, our hand will be traveling 30 degree. So, in 1 minute, how much distance our hand is traveling? In 1 minute, our hand will be traveling half degree. Okay. So, in 1 minute, our hand will be traveling a distance of half degree. And in 1 minute, the minute hand will be traveling a distance of 6 degree. Okay. So, what is the relative speed? Between the minute hand and the hour hand, it will be 6 degree minus half degree or 5 and half degree. So, 5 and half degree per minute will be the relative speed between the hour hand and the minute hand. So, whenever you are doing these kind of questions, you have to consider the relative speed only. So, you can just remember 5 and half degree is the relative speed between the hour hand and the minute hand. Or minute hand should be traveling with a relative speed of 5 and half degree. With respect to our hand, the, hour, the minute hand will be traveling at a speed of 5 and half degree per minute. So, how much distance the minute hand has to travel? 90 degree. And what is the speed? 
you have to consider the relative speed only because both the hour hand and minute hand are moving so you have to consider relative speed so relative speed is 5 and half degree okay so now you can find out the time so time required to travel 90 degree at a relative speed of 5 and half degree will be 90 degree divided by 5 and half degree okay distance by speed will be giving you the time so 90 degree divided by 5 and half or 90 degree divided by 11 by 2 so what you will be getting 180 divided by 11 90 into 2 divided by 11 which gives you 180 divided by 11 and this 180 divided by 11 minutes so what is 180 divided by 11 you will be getting it as 16 4 by 11 every time every time you have to express it as a mixed fraction so you will be getting 180 divided by 11 minutes or you will be getting it as 16 4 by 11 minutes so the hour hand and the minute hand will be coinciding at 16 4 by 11 minutes so usually when we say the hour hand and the minute hand we will simply say they are coinciding at 315 at the time 315 but it is not the case there will be a slight change actually the minute hand and the hour hand will be coinciding at 16 4 by 11 minutes past 3 okay that means 3 16 4 by 11 or 3 16 then 4 by 11 seconds so 3 16 4 by 11 or 16 4 by 11 minutes past 3 only the hour hand and the minute hand will be coinciding with each other so for these type of questions you have to find out the distance to be traveled by the minute hand you have to see the position of the hour hand first then you have to see the position of the minute hand then how much distance the minute hand has to travel and relative speed always will be 11 by 2 degree then distance divided by speed will be giving you the time thank you for watching